Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Blake in the building! Mr. Blake! <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you been, dude? Uh, back in California, I can officially smoke weed again. Oh, the that is excellent. Excellent. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, where? I know you've been pumping Sacramento. the weights. You've been pumping the weights with Nick lately, getting ready. For the big tour coming up, man, and the first one, correct, is uh, is Swan Fest, right? Yep. You ain't ready, bro. How uh, nervous are you? Shit, I ain't nervous. Let's go. He does this. He knows. <laughs> he's ready. He's, he's what's up. OG motherfucker. He ain't scared. What's the best part of of no, hanging I... out with uh with all the bo old boys again? I don't know. It makes me feel like uh. Mm, I don't know. It's it, it, it's still kind of weird in, like, the best way possible. It's like, I just look around the room and everyone's still alive. And I'm just like, holy shit. Like, we're fucking lucky. Like, on some serious shit. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll raise my hand and say I've always gone the hardest in the band, of course. On I like drugs that. and alcohol stuff like that but we have partied our fucking uh asses off since we were probably like 14 years old and i don't know it's just it's it's a beautiful thing to see all of them in the room together uh practicing and not much has really changed <laughs> well that's cool uh, just a bunch of fucking laughing and smoking weed and tripping about the first show. Jordan, if we bought you a local band smokeout shirt, what are the chances you would get every band to sign it? <laughs> Why is it not? For uh, on Saturday? Yeah. I could make Come on. my best honest effort. I don't know any of the bands. That's what I say. That's an icebreaker. Be like, yo, this is a really awesome shirt. Will you sign it? Hey, I'm Jordan. They already know who you are, bro. Do you know any of the bands playing? Uh, Fire from the Gods is going to be fucking badass. Anthony Green's badass. Dance Gavin Dance badass. And most importantly, your band's badass. If you show me that line up again, I think there's three more. Fire from didn't the Gods it, is fire. Didn't it though. say movements too? Or... Yup. Let me look again. Who's I'm not. I'm telling you, Jordan, go see Fire from the Gods. That dude's Yeah, the movements, beast. movements, knock loose, animals as leaders. Volumes, Vail, okay, Maya. No animals as leaders. Idola, Idola, we played just a Think second ago. This. Fall of Troy. Oh, one of those Cyrus is playing. Holy shit! That's old school. Veil Maya volumes. Let's go. Oh, volumes. That's fucking gangster. Bro, do, do you even look at the damn flyers? I just got so much more excited right now. Bro, you were you're supposed to play this. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't use the internet very much anymore. Fair enough. I try not to. I try not to, uh, you know, get, I tried, I don't know, I guess try to make whatever I do say just seem a little bit more exclusive, like, which is crazy. I've been getting a lot of fucking podcasts that have been asking to do the interviews and I initially reply with, can you send over a list of questions that you have? And it's shit we've already fucking covered every fucking Back. time. We don't have to send those lists, like, right? I'm like, you no, know, it's not. It's not like that. What's up, VG? Us, we good? It's like, it's like we've been we've been doing this thing since we announced it. We've been doing interviews, and I did my first one with video one on here, and I think I'm just gonna keep it that way. I mean, I don't really think I'm gonna get any big hype off any of these shows or anything but if you're out of your mind if i gotta do other podcasts i i don't know i think it's just super cool to go with one person and i haven't seen a band yeah that, i really want to do that i'll i'll officially do it for jordan blake i won't speak on behalf of the ogs but 
Well, we appreciate I'm it. Sure. That's awesome. BG, we're cool kids, man. He likes us. We're the coolest. You guys have <laughs> had other members on, right? Yeah, we've had everybody but Corey. You want Corey? Yeah, if we could. Uh, That'd be cool. No, Jordan, All we right. don't want to interview awesome musicians on a music show, man. You can keep them. <laughs> I do have to ask one serious question, though, and it's a music one. What have you been doing to, like, get your voice for show ready? Because you're about to be doing some wild shows. What have you been doing to, like, kind of warm up, practice, like, maintain your ability? Anything specific? Well, I went on rutracker.org and, or, dot .ru and I downloaded the Chiodos record. And uh, yeah. I've been listening to a shit ton of Chiodos because I have that two was lately. One of, first, one of the first Rick records that I had heard that was like a high singer like that that seemed mm-hmm. challenging was was Chiodos and. I don't a know. Of, I a lot still, of chest to like head falsetto. He's gnarly. Yeah, I I met him when they played in our hometown. They played to like I think Joey said the other day there was like twenty people that paid. There was like at the beginning, beginning. I didn't even know I was going to a Chioto show, and I saw him and fucking blew my mind. I was probably almost crying. I because I was like seeing guys my own age that were like eighteen, nineteen years old fucking touring. And there wasn't two. I don't know. They might be older than us, but it seemed like it was possible. Bro, so you I give him a run for his money. You're forget that. Yo, you <laughs> you you got up to his range, bro. You could probably school him with that. You you don't don't put yourself down like that. You could compete. Ah, uh, it's it, it's his antics. It's his uh, fact theatrical personality and yep. just fucking very I don't theatrical. Know what to do. Is there I any is there any surprises in record. in the set that uh? I mean, not that you're not allowed to say, because we're all waiting for the shows, but uh, is there some, some surprises that we won't be expecting? Um, well, we're going to play the whole EP. Uh, <gasps> so Saturday, we're playing everything but Past the Love, just because we want to do that one. Like, we're not ready to do that one yet, but... Everything else, and I've never played a reason for Broken Wings before. So. Really? Yeah, this is wow. the first time. I did not know that. Does it? Does that's got to give you like a little bit of nerves to to be playing a song for the for oh. the first time? Man, I'm I'm really nervous to sing that song because ninety percent of the people I've probably met over the last fifteen years said that Reason for Broken Wings was their favorite song. So, <laughs> no pressure. It no pressure. Is like, yeah, no for no pressure at all. Nah, I, baby, uh, you just gotta pull up and shoot that three, dude. Just go big, go home. Big nuts. You know, you know that the, if the crowd is, say, seventy percent or eighty percent, what they told me the number was like today, it's gonna be fifty times bigger than my biggest show. Let them sing it then. <laughs> how, I don't even know how you do that how You hold the mic out hear? and you'll be surprised Dude with the, the way that you've written and stuff I guarantee you I bet you the whole fucking crowd Will sing like a certain part Easily I bet you 20 bucks I bet you I'm in I on really, that bet really I'm in on that bet I want to try to at least get At least one of those off on Saturday I bet you'll do it I bet you do now it's in your head we, we don't have it planned, so they're going to not know that I'm doing it. So Oh, uh, true. My, we'll let them know now, bro. a little risky, but... No, I'm going to smile big when I hear fun. it, too. He got that idea from local band Smokeout. We did it for him. I'm not able yeah, to go to Swan Fest, but is there is there any form of like live streaming or anything that, they, that uh, Will has planned regarding it, or is it you just have to be there? I, I want to say I saw it, it, that it was uh, streamed last year. And if it's not streamed, it's recorded. Cool. Is there is there a particular? I know that they have videos of all the other years. Is there is there a particular show on uh on the entire run that you guys are doing that you're most looking forward to? Oh yeah, so what music festival? Why that one? Um, Blue Ridge. Those are two shows I never thought I'd play. So what has like like two hundred and fifty artists? Blue Ridge is beast. 
Yeah, I was watching the commercial, like the trailers from the last years, and that's a massive concert. Hell yeah. I'm just hoping that all of these shows we get to play fucking the full set and get to meet as many people as possible just in case we only do it this year. Stop. Stop, bro. I don't want to hear that. You got to keep it in positivity. It's in you, bro. It's all in you. It's in no, you. No, no. I, I know we all could do it, but it's just like they got jobs and like. Yeah, well, families. You know, the best you can and make this a job again. Families. Come back. That's, see, that's my secret plan. Is yeah. Um, that they all get the feels when they get on stage because. They haven't played together in seven years. I haven't played with them in 15 years. So this is both of our, like, first... It almost feels like a first show. At least for me, because I never thought I would have did it again. Like, I didn't didn't think it was going to be a possibility. I thought they were going to keep going the way they were. So it's fucking... I don't even know if I've wrapped my head around it yet. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Bobby, your hair know. looks good. Does my hair look good? Hell yeah, right. bro. It does. Thank you. No, you're <laughs> a pretty <laughs> motherfucker. I see you get you're getting into like the Skylit Drive form. He needs to get into his final form to do this. And he's changing. <laughs> oh yeah. You know how many pairs of just beautiful black skinny jeans I have to choose yes. from? Yeah. Jordan, did you ever did you ever play with the, the with, ones, though. Did you ever play with the old back. school lineup of Escape the Fate back when Ronnie was Ronnie was in the band? Um no, I never did. I only met Ronnie as recently as I want to say it was 2016. Uh it was when Jackie Vincent was still in the band. So I don't know how long he's been out. But okay. I never, I met, I actually have a funny story about Escape to Fate, but. Hit us. I didn't, or not Escape to Fate. Uh, yeah, Escape to Fate. That's the band that. I, so the last band I toured with when I was in Skylight Drive was uh, Bless the Fall. And uh, from first to last. And, um. For some reason, like, there was, like, a flu or, like, a disease going around, like, the post-hardcore scene. Like, every single fucking singer was dropping. Like, either just quitting their bands or going to a different one or addictions, whatever the fuck it was. Like, everyone was leaving their bands and joining other bands. It was fucking, like, a huge fuck fest. It was weird. but a fuck fest? <laughs> Yeah, like, like, like yeah. I don't know. It was like we, everyone was he was trading singers, like, like they were girlfriends. <laughs> it's like no, it's I like to say it's like Pokemon, bro. You're just Pokemon, and then you got traded to the other trainer, yeah. and then try to collect all the rare I, ones. I've honestly have thought about it in that same exact way. <laughs> I wonder what our staff so would be and shit. They need to make basketball cards, but for. Band guy, band I'm not saying this to butter you up though, but you would be a legendary Pokemon, bro. That oh, OG shit. status, no lie. What would be my? What kind would I be? Oh, you you would definitely be a psychic ability. Something something with the mental. Some with singing. Some with the voice. I definitely see psychic ability. A little darker tone. Yep, I feel you. Yeah, I think the same thing. Mm, I got you, bro. I'm tapped into you. What's we your what, a, what's your escape the fate story? To, what's your escape the fate story though? Oh, I distracted. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. So I'm walking down the street in Silver Lake when I'm recording the Watch Out There's Ghost record. No one knew I was there except for the four four or five thousand people on my MySpace. But um, I was walking down the street and like literally, it's like like a pretty fucking steep street. Anyways, I was like. Kind of just jogging down it. I was stoned and just been drinking wine. And then this L.A. number calls me. And I didn't meet anyone in L.A. yet. And then I pick it up and the guy was like, Hey, you emo fucker, are you walking down uh, by sunset right now? And I was like, um, yeah. And he was like, turn around, about to get your ass beat. And I was like, uh-oh. And I got super scared because Escape the Fate jumped out of the fucking van first all tatted up and shit and leather jackets and um 
then Craig Mabbitt dropped out, jumped out, and was like, sup, fucker? And I was like, oh, what the fuck? I thought I was <laughs> He got you. <laughs> I thought I got him. Accidentally. That is uh that is so you so you've known Craig obviously for a long time, so that's why he was like, Oh, there goes Jordan. Yeah, Craig was uh already moved on to a different like I think he was referring to Escape the Fate. He had already been he was already on to his next move, and I'm tripping about staying in the band because we were about was Kyle Drive because we were about to go and record the album that they named Wires but I thought it would have been a super douchey move to have recorded it and quit because I, the shit that I had written for it was probably a, in my opinion was a lot better than what I had done on the EP and I didn't want to have to quit I don't know I always thought that it was kind of weird to have replacement singers but um i don't know i just wanted them to be able to write a record and not have to because i didn't and bands sometimes could quit playing their eps right Mm -hmm. like usually when they get their first record most of their fans don't even know they have an ep so i at least that's how it was for me like i knew i had like the census fell um their first EP with like bloody romance and shit. I didn't even know what an EP was before that. That was like the first EP I'd ever had. Like where you only do seven songs or whatever. I forget how long it's supposed to be, but yeah, like six or seven um, or so. Yeah. So I, I mean, bands don't have to do that anymore. It's like, I see bands skip that phase a lot. Actually after 2007 it seemed like bands didn't do eps anymore unless they were independent then they would always do an ep because that's way fucking cheaper than an album but do um, any do any of the lyrics still exist i don't think i'm supposed to talk about this but i always end up telling you guys some crazy shit that well i don't have i don't personally have management or label or anything so I guess if I say something wrong, then those guys will get. I'm in your trouble, fucking but... manager now, bro. Say whatever you want. You're good. You're all, all, right, green. all right, all green. All Thunderbirds are go. Well, uh, <laughs> we were going. Sorry, I'm stoned. Uh, it's we okay. We were going over the process of how the new uh, recordings are going to go. So I don't know if anyone's ever going to get to hear them, but they're going to start being made probably next week. If we promise not to share it, will you send BG and I like little little homie clip it so only we can hear? Oh yeah, not like Snapchats. The Let's Snapchat. go. Cool. I got us, BG. Come With on. it, I'm definitely on Snapchat. We're ready. So so new recordings definitely oh, going yeah. down. Is it is it possible some of the maybe some of the lyrics that were that were going to go on the album that they ended up calling Wires could see the light of day? I think, in my mind, I would like to do that in, like, that part of the story, like, in, like, three or four years or something. I don't know. Like, I already am, like, super juiced on getting to write another concept thing. Like, I was talking to Nick about it this morning. Um, Originally, I was going to have, you know, like, the girl, well, you know, every time you date a girl, you're trying to fucking be with them at least i am forever so uh i didn't have plans of not being with this person that i was writing about um but unfortunately whatever happens uh shit happens but so in the story uh you know according to columbus is that track is referring to the girl running for the skylines because I don't know how many people actually realized that I was writing a story or whatever, but so Nightmare, that's the nemesis of the uh, Soul Calibur series. And I thought it was such a, you know, common name that it probably, I don't know, I used it too. But so, like I've said before, like the EP is like, kind of like 
if you were to play play like arcade mode on Soul Calibur, there's like a story, like the cutscenes, and they always say some weird shit. But uh, that's like where I got like most of my lyric ideas was based off of. I based my emotion off of my character story, which I was really. Who did I fucking use? Oh, Siegfried. Yeah. And his story is pretty epic. Siegfried. So I kind of just, I got an idea. Well, his story, it was sick, but it kind of, I don't know. It made me want to write my own story, basically. And so the original writing for the second shit was the girl was smart enough. She kept running. This is an old story, so they didn't know that you can't reach the skyline. So she just keeps going and going. So keep that running. She don't get... hmm? I was I was going with your story. I said keep running. Oh, so yeah, they didn't capture her or whatever. And uh, but in the new writings, that bitch is dead. So it's a Go. very more angsty side of. Silent Drive. It's a lot heavier. It like makes my heart hurt listening to the breakdown. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> I've never really heard. I mean, I quit listening to post hardcore like after I left Skylight Drive, and I listened to, like Sleeping with Sirens and Issues and um, Common Crooks. Couple couple bands, but I miss Common Crooks. I do remember when I they do. broke out. I was listening to them last night. Then, you know, my I got BG to yes. play it once. It, they were just a little bigger, so we were on, I think, Facebook days at that time. Yeah, I would literally pull as many strings as I absolutely had to to make that happen if I could. Got it. We're on I it, was, dude. What's up? I was, uh, I was really going in for them, like yeah, towards the big end. time. Like I was, I was recording them and. I was talking to David Conway, which is a huge fucking deal. And the singer just fucking left. It literally broke my heart. Probably as hard as like when I left my own band because I knew how everyone was feeling around me. They would have one hundred percent gone pretty damn far if they stuck to it. Their tones and the way they like did vocals and like just the guitars a lot, like that shit was fire. I, I I'm ashamed that they yeah. have broke up. I did I I filled in for the singer at their last show, and that was probably one of the most challenging sets I've ever done. Oh yeah, he's life. all over too vocally. And he he at the time he was a little younger, so he still had his little you know his baby weight on him. And that kid's diaphragm, like I don't know, he could just carry a falsetto note that would like shatter your head. It was fucking sick. I had never heard anybody do it like that before. Only the chosen can falsetto. It's not for yeah, everyone. Yeah, it's a crazy thing because I can't falsetto. My voice is already so high, like my falsetto is really quiet. Like when I record falsettos, I have to do like four or five layers because it's so fucking quiet. But I don't really. You've like also used your voice a ton over time too. Do you think that has anything to do with it? No, I got better at it as time went on, actually. Okay. Like, I learned how to, because I couldn't sing, like, when Johnny Craig started putting out shit with him, <laughs> like, I was like, what the fuck is he, how is he doing that shit? Yeah. Like, I still ask that heard. sometimes. Yeah, well, now I just know it's just Johnny the robot, but back then I was like, <laughs> was real. Bro! Johnny the robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that he, who's Jordan? Are, are you allowed to are you allowed to tell us who's go, who you have in mind to do? Is uh is Kip Kip involved in the recordings? Um. Or are you not allowed? You not allowed to that say. We did the first shit with. Well, I guess she watched the dude. We did. She watched the sky with. Heard. But uh, Nick has a badass recording studio. So we're just going to record everything with him and then hopefully get the guy that made you watch this guy on board. I don't even think we've even contacted him, but fingers crossed. He's a fucking genius. Kit Walters. That's yeah, his Kit. fucking name. 
Kit Walters is probably one of the best live performers for one but being able to work with him in the studio and vocals like that's some shit that most people don't get to fucking experience he is really good i don't know if you ever heard the fucking massive improvement between the demos and the ep but uh that was all kit i mean he made me record everything and have i had to record it all in key because this is before Crazy vocal processing. Crazy. What? Hell yeah. So, recording. Where are, us? where are you going? Stop moving huh? around. Where are, you, where are you taking us? Where am I taking you? Yeah. To the chart. Tri- tri- where are you right now? Where am I? I am. Did at you? Home. You said you moved to Cali. Like, did you move, move to Cali, or are you just there getting ready for the show? No, I I had to move here. My fucking house burned down. I do remember hearing those stories. I'm sorry that happened, brother. Dude, fucking crazy, right? I was, I just put like my dog down, and um, like my girlfriend had been sleeping for like 30 minutes, and our fucking roommate just set that shit on fire. That's fucking why, weird. though? Put why? Everybody sleeping. It was like Firestarter, the fucking book. Like, he, that's who he was. He was just starting fires. Crazy shit. Okay. That's insane. Jordan, we're we're almost out of time, Wait, brother. The worst part is, all my fucking studio shit survived, right? But then some fucking kids came and looted like two hours after the fire. Stop! <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I was like, damn it! Like they took yeah, my we, life. Yeah, we need these shows. We need this come up real bad, bro. I'm feeling you. You gotta, you gotta just let it all out for these shows. Yeah, I plan on it. I'm planning on fucking. I can't even breathe thinking about it right now, so hopefully that goes away, but <laughs> I like I'm getting really nervous. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry. We're all excited for you. We're happy. We know this is something you've been wanting for a while. It's, all the boys are happy about it. Dude, have a fantastic time at Swanfest. Enjoy the other bands. Mingle. They're all going to be watching your set because you're you guys are kind of like the thing that none of us have seen in years so it's it's different it's funky like an alien fresh but it's gonna be awesome and uh we love you brother you think those fans know about skyler drive of course would you shut up (laughs) of course they do i can't stand you of course they do what are you talking about half the bands that are playing are newer bands which have gotten a lot of inspiration from bands like yours yes it's true hello Bro, you're all know. over the place. I bet you if you ask any one of those bands to sing one of your songs, they're going to know a lyric. I bet you. I bet you. That would be cool. Right, well, I'm going to test that. I, you're going to test it, and then you're going to be like, oh, fuck, Lloyd was right. I'm telling you, dude. You had a I'm lot of influence right over Anthony people. Green. You were the like, you were one of the top pretty boys that were fucking hitting wild notes, and everybody wanted to hit those notes. I'm not joking. I'm not saying it because I bet if you it's even true. asked, I bet if you even asked like like volumes or somebody like that would come out and do like a little 20 second cameo du- dual screen with you on a part or something. That would be sweet. I bet, I bet they you would. Anthony Green knows how to sing all your songs. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jordan, we love you, brother. Stay safe on the road, man. We'll, we'll chat soon and uh, I'll see you at the Whiskey Go Go, dude. Yep, yep. I won't see you for a while in person, but I love you and I wish you well, brother. You've had a lot of bad things happen and you're about to go right fucking up. So right to go. the top. Right to the top, baby. Thank you. Right thank to you. the fucking top, brother. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jordan. Cheers. Later.